Welcome to another Transformers uh, Japanese animated review. This time we're going to be looking at the uh, Voyager class Shockwave figure. So here we have Shockwave in his undercover uh, Autobot form, Long Arm Prime, uh, which is his vehicle mode first, uh, his crane mode, and not going to focus too much on each mode just because I already did in my first review. Uh, nothing really different in here. I don't, I mean, maybe these bits here are a little bit shinier, but not much at all. It's kind of hard to tell with the rest of the gray. Not much shiny going on here. Uh, still, doesn't really have any wheels on the bottom of it, so it doesn't really roll around. So, uh, transform him into the shockwave tank mode. Just very simply just straighten out these treads. Okay. And push this back in. Flip down the gun. And that's that right there. Now the only real main difference here is that the Decepticon symbol, there you go, is uh, purple instead of the uh, golden emblem that the American animated toys got for most of them anyway. Uh, I, which is fine I guess, but I do like the purple better. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure why they went with silver for Autobots and gold for Decepticons, but it's nice to actually see it in its true colors. But yeah, uh, it's the same H-style tank that the uh, original Shockwave was. Still really cool looking. Has wheels on the bottom, so it rolls moderately well. Not too well, though. Uh, but yeah, yeah, of course you can see the robot cable on the bottom of it. Okay, so that's enough here. So let's go ahead and transform him into Long Arm Prime's robot mode. First off, I'm just going to take the cannon off here and just view from the bottom, make it more simple, detach it in the middle, fold these pieces in, fold out his feet. And detach his arms from this middle section here and fold them in. Okay. And fold down his shoulders. And then fold this little piece down. And then do the same on that side. His legs are a little finicky, kind of awkward to get them straightened up just right, and pull this little headpiece down. And there he is in robot mode. Long arms, uh, only real main difference from the original uh, Hasbro version is that he has the red Autobot symbol on his chest. And the chest plate is itself is a little bit metallic -y. Not too much. I, I, this is one I actually would have preferred to see have a full out metal metallic paint job on it. And of course you can take his uh, crane and stick it on the back. But of course you got the Decepticon logo coming out through the back. So I, even on my older one, I, if I had it in long run prime mode, I would just have it by itself, you know, but even by itself, a uh, long arm here ha is a really great looking robot. It's really one of my favorites from the uh, animated toy series. But of course, it isn't the main feature of the toys. He 
Got to convert him into his true form, and that's Shockwave. And first off, to convert him, I'm just going to separate his legs and pull them down. And then spin them at the knee here. Pull at the forearm. And turn him around. Turn his hands around. And then extend his claws. Do the exact same for the other side. Oop, that one fell off. Okay, and then extend or fold around his shoulder pieces here. And probably the coolest feature, I, I still think that this part is so brilliantly done, is this how the engineer it is beyond me. Just fold this piece back, lift forward his head, and the long arm uh, prime face tucks away. Didn't do it as quite as good as it should have. Let's try that again. There we go, that's better. Then you fold up the rabbit ears. Fold up his shoulders here. And last but not least, spin around his Autobot symbol to reveal a purple Decepticon logo, which is a lot better. Okay, and there he is in robot mode. So here we have Shockwave in his final mode, his true form, and it's just as awesome as the first one, the Hasbro version when I first got it. It is still... Uh, my favorite animated toy throughout the entire series, even with some of the newer ones that have been coming out lately. Um, this is still just such a fantastic robot to look at. It's just Shockwave is is such a popular character and been one of my favorite characters from Generation One. And just this is just such a great looking robot. Posability is it has a lot of it, especially on the legs. In fact, just getting him to stand up straight is a little bit awkward since he has so many different joints in his legs. Uh, you can take his gun here in the cannon form and stick it into either one of these hands and his, on these pegs. Uh, the red eye on the very top there is just perfect. I mean, I'm glad it's not too, I mean, too crappy looking. It just it looks awesome. Uh, I like it. Yeah, like I said, this is my favorite animated toy. I mean, I've picked up so many different versions of it. I got the, the original one that I picked up, reviewed it, which I have outside of the box. Then late, later after that, I picked up another one and kept it in the box. Then I picked up the Target exclusive, that uh, the purple one, and kept that one in the box. Then. I got another one of these Japanese ones to keep in the box, and then I got this one. So what? That makes I mean that makes five shockwaves. I mean, if that doesn't show favoritism, I, I don't know what does. But yeah, this is. It's not too different from the original one, original Hasbro, to really justify getting the import cost. But still, I think just the minor changes for it just really do improve it just a little bit. But just the, if you can get it at a good price, I definitely do recommend it. Because it is still a fantastic toy. It still holds up today. This has been a fun, awesome toy that appeals to both new and older Transformer fans. Alright, until next time, thank you for watching.